A warning, this story contains content that may be disturbing to some viewers. Years and years of bullying and racialization, you know, being called the N-word, being depicted as different animals, including monkeys. Allegations of bullying and racism swept under the rug. A woman who went to the same school as a teenager who recently died by suicide said she's not surprised about reports that staff did nothing to stop the bullies from tormenting the girl. Oh, yeah. This is where Stephanie Sargent spent years of her life, St. Gabriel the Archangel in Chestermere, just east of Calgary. She says for years, her and her brother reported being bullied. She was called the N-word. Classmates drew her depicted as a monkey, and staff did not recognize blatant racism. The attitude was usually just that, you know, like kids will be kids and kids are rough on each other and that this, you know, this isn't really different from what any other kid goes through and it'll be dealt with accordingly. But then I personally never received follow-up for any of the times where I brought stuff forward. 15-year-old Abej Khan died by suicide this past weekend. Her family also says the school did nothing to stop bullies. It's so, so, so lonely and just the constant tormenting. Like, that girl was so afraid to even go to school. Like, she didn't even feel like she could step through those doors safely. I think that that just speaks volumes about the type of environment that's going on there. When someone is being bullied and they don't see the follow-up from it, or don't see actions being taken, it could be disheartening. And again, they can internalize a lot of issues that they're facing, which could lead to all the depression. Calgary Catholic School District says it can't comment on any specific situation because of privacy. It sent City News the same statement it provided previously about working with families to address concerns. Sergeant's grades began slipping in grade 10, and she was seeing a counselor for her mental health. She felt the staff was focusing too much on her poor performance rather than the underlying issues at school. She quickly transferred to a Calgary high school and landed in the honor roll. She says there's something fundamentally wrong here. And even though it's been five years since she attended, racism left scars. The way that I looked at myself, just even as like a young woman and just the way that I viewed myself, the way that I've had to watch my brother view himself, it's just, it, it's hard stuff. If you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health, you can contact Kids Help Phone at the number listed at the bottom of the screen. In Calgary, Crystal Adarius, City News.